Apple is putting the screws to Facebook after new revelations about a controversial app that Facebook distributed to track users' activity. Facebook paid users, including teenagers, teenagers up to $20 a month to install its Facebook research app. According to TechCrunch, the app may have had access to information like private messages, web searches, and location data. This wasn't an app you would find in Apple's App Store. Instead, as you can see in this screenshot from TechCrunch, Facebook distributed it, distributed it using Apple's Enterprise program. That program exists for companies to distribu distribute internal apps to their employees. Apple has responded by blocking all of Facebook's internal apps from launching on Apple devices. Samuel Burke is standing by uh, with a reaction from Apple and Facebook. First, though, uh, we want to hear from you. Get out your phones and go to cnn.com slash join. Our question today for you, would you give Facebook access to your browsing history, private messages, and location data if Facebook actually offered you $20 a month? Cast your vote at cnn.com join. We'll discuss the results in just a moment. Uh, but first, Samuel, just, just walk us through exactly how this research app works. Well, Zane, it's quite interesting, and the app is called Facebook Research. So Facebook saying we were very obvious in what we were trying to do, at least that's their defense. What's interesting is this uses something called root access. That means it can go deeper into your phone to get exactly the type of information you were talking about there, like private messages. The thing is, Facebook had tried this once before. If you look at the code in this app, it's very similar to an app called Onavo, which Apple had previously banned. After this was discovered, Apple said, you're not allowed to have this type of app doing this type of activity, and they booted it. Same thing they've done again here today. But what's interesting, you could say, well, why is Apple allowing those types of apps into their store? Don't they check these types of things first? Now, Facebook, on the one hand, a lot of times people have said, why don't they pay people instead of taking our data, instead of using advertising? In one sense, you could say, well, at least they're paying people for their information here. But the fact that it was uh, in, for teens in some parts uh, may have some people feeling somewhat uncomfortable. I just want to put up what Facebook says about all this. They're not falling on their sword at all, Zane. They're saying, well, this is an app that was obvious, and they go on to say key facts about this market research program, they call it, are being ignored. There was nothing secret about this. It wasn't spying, as all the people who signed up to participate went through a clear onboarding process, asking for their permission, and were paid to participate. Incredible, all of the privacy scandals that Facebook has, data scandals, Yet they've been able to move forward until this last year. It finally built up for them, and we know they have their earnings coming up. I'll be interested to see if all this has added up and if people are using it less. What I did this year is my New Year's resolution saying I just moved Facebook to the last page so I'm not so Facebook addicted. I didn't delete the app, but I thought I needed it to be much healthier this it's way. So I'm funny. using I'm hearing, it less. You know, I'm hearing a lot of people say the same thing, that they have been so concerned yeah. with all of Facebook's privacy issues that they're trying to wean themselves uh, off the app. But one question I have for you, Samuel, is, you know, obviously Facebook, Facebook, their argument is, listen, we ask people's permission, there's an opt-in consent form, there's legal disclaimer. Given all of that, what exactly are the ethics of what Facebook has been accused of doing? Well, all the people I've talked to, uh, experts in fields of privacy, have said they don't see where the violation of any law would have been here. Ethically, yes, they were straightforward. If you're being paid and you saw the permissions right there that we showed on the screen, I don't think it's so much that we should think about the ethical violations, uh, if there are any. I think it's the broader questions that we have about how far is Facebook willing to go to be the data-dominant company of our time. Of course, there are others like it, Google, for instance. But how far will they go and how far will the public let them go? They haven't fallen on their sword yet, but will they in a few days say, okay, we're getting enough bad publicity, publicity from this that will fold? That's the type of problem that we've seen for Facebook. And the numbers that you're showing right now on screen show, you know, at first, uh, when it came to Cambridge Analytica, and whatnot, they didn't make it public. They didn't think that it was going to be such a big problem. They hoped it wouldn't be, and then everything changed. So I'm interested to see if these types of scandals will catch up to the company tonight in their earnings report. Yeah, and we just saw there just what, what has happened to Facebook shares over the past uh, year and a half. We'll see what happens with their earnings. Samuel Burke, live for us there. Thank you so much. All right, so we have uh, the results of our question in. According, according to the, those of you who voting at cnn.com slash join, most of you say that you would not, you would not install Facebook's app for $20 a month. Uh, a lot of people weary, of course, about uh, Facebook's, all of Facebook's privacy issues. Only around a fifth of you 
say that you would.